What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Retro Aviation. Hope you guys have a fantastic day today and today I have a very exciting model review for you guys. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Gemini Jets 1 to 400 scale Allegiant Air Airbus E320 with fence tips in the Travel Is Our Dill livery. This is a really cool model that I really like in my collection and I'm very excited to talk about it with you guys. So without any further delay, we're going to take the model out of the way and get started here with the box. So really cool with the Allegiant boxes for Gemini Jets, they go a little bit out of the way here to do a more uh, unique design. So this is what we're gonna find, Gemini Jets, and then this blue background with the real life kind of aircraft here. I think it's a computer generated still, but it's like more of a bold one, not like a Gemini Jet CGI. So that's pretty cool. Allegiant travels our Dill Airbus E321, the foreign skilled diecast model. And then of course you have all the sides. This was a 2013 release. I thought that I got this in 2015, but I may have been way back in 2013. Time's just kind of slipping away from me. So 10 years ago at this point, which is pretty crazy. And then the back's just nice and standard. You just have Gemini Jets, nothing too crazy to it. And then here you have the pamphlet. Uh, they just made it real simple. They just said Allegiant Air is a all jet low cost passenger airline providing nonstop service to the world's some most exciting vacation destinations in the world. Allegiant Air offers a real value through its everyday low fares and complete value packages. Allegiant uses popular MD 8757 A319 A320 jet aircraft. Uh, 757s were still in operation when they made this. So that kind of makes sense. And the MD80 did not get retired till 2018. So that also lines up pretty well in conjunction with the A319 and A320. So we're gonna need the A320. Here it is here. The Gemini Jets old mold is utilized here on this aircraft. It's a really good looking plane. I've really enjoyed having this one in my collection. I can't give a big enough thanks to my great friend Syracuse Aviation for selling me his A319 a couple of years ago, uh, back in 2021, and that's been a great compliment to this model. So it's been really cool to have both those. And then I have the Panda A319 and A320 in the current colors, along with some other A319s from Aero Classics and um, uh, the Gemini Jet Sharklet edition too. So a bunch of really cool Legion planes and then the MD-80s too. And I'd like to get a 7.5 sometime. There was one at Airliners International that I was really tempted to pull the trigger on. But if I did that with every model I wanted, I would not have much money left in. That's kind of going without saying. But enough of that. Let's go ahead and get into the Allegiant A320 here by Gemini Jets. Okay, let's get started. Apologies, the cat kind of keeps getting hair everywhere, which kind of sucks. But you know what? We're here to have some fun with it. Cockpit windows along with the great nose cone here on the old mold E320. It's a really great mold. They did a great job. Uh, details, obviously, I just reviewed a uh, breast cancer awareness 757 from NG. So looking at the detail here, it's not what that is, but still it's got your typical panels, which is what matters. You do have the nose landing gear and nose landing gear door, which is 217 there for your registration prefix. Nose landing gear door is certainly a little bit small in this model, but what can I say? I would take that over other disproportions. Here's the L1 door, not quite as much detail as what you'd see nowadays, but still sufficient there with the lever and the various panels. Uh, you got the Allegiant billboard titles, really nice and simple, along with some panels down here. Of course, you got a couple of seats there with a little bit of etched leg room outside that. It's a all economy class configuration here for G4 Welcome Allegiant, yes. It was not gonna go this video without saying that because that is too good of a reference not to utilize. Uh, here's the emergency exits here. Really simple fuselage on this livery. The current colors now has a little bit more flavor to it. This one was really simple. Uh, you can see here where we have the wing route that connects uh, both wings into the fuselage. Uh, I need to take one of these apart sometime or find one that is deassembled so I don't have to break one of these. I would like to show that on camera if you've never seen it before because it is pretty cool. But again, hate to, um, again, hate to, take something apart if I don't have to. Uh, best part of this mold period is the CFM 56s. They are beautifully proportioned and you can see the various details that they put on there. That's awesome along with the exhaust and the cowling pieces. And there's a good look at the fan blades. Really, really great job and just looks so pretty after looking at that new mold for several years now. You of course got the main landing gear there too in the wing, which has some pretty sufficient detail with the slats, flaps, and speed brakes in the emergency exit pads. So that looks really good. Then of course you got the blue uh, fence tip, which looks nice. Uh, and you got the wing and everything. So that all looks really good too. Then you got the main landing gear, which obviously slant back a little bit. So that's also cool. Then you have the travel is our deal underlined with the deal. So that's certainly very cool. I think they did a cool job with that. Registration is November 217, November Victor. I currently operated Allegiant A320, of course. And of course you have their flagship, which is the sun on the tail and the blue color behind it, which gives you beach vibes. And that's pretty much where they fly to. Sunny destinations exclusively. Like the only exception I could think of. Nashville's not completely sunny all the time. And then they have a couple of other um, hubs that can be a little hit or miss. But for the most part, Nashville's the one that really stands out. And I guess Des Moines, but Des Moines does have quite a few sunny days still. So 
Typically though, you're gonna be flying to a sunny destination if you are with G4, welcome Allegiant, yes. So that's kind of what we're going for there, of course. The right side of the aircraft, of course, very simple, although you do have the cargo bin door there in the front and also the back. You can see a really good perspective of both of them here. Uh, I don't know where this paint chip came from. I don't even remember seeing that, but there's now a paint chip on it. So luckily though, it's pretty small and kind of hard to notice if you're not looking for it. Top of the aircraft looks really good with the beacon and everything there too. Also cool to note, you have the yellow pieces right there on the wing as well. And the bottom of the aircraft's also pretty simple. You just got your Gemini Jets logo, the stand hole, and all the other applicable details that one could want on this aircraft. Gemini Jets did a really good job here, especially for 2013. Obviously the detail's not what you're gonna find today, and that goes for about every aircraft. Um, but I like to reflect because not all the models I review during these model reviews um, are the older molds. I review quite a few of the newer aircraft, which is really great and everything, but some, uh, sometimes it's always nice to reflect on where we started and what a great aircraft here we have with G4's A320 here in the fleet. So this is a really cool model and I highly recommend it if you are interested in an Allegiant airplane. This one's kind of challenging to find, but you can find other additions like um, uh, Gemini just recently did a A319 with uh, fence tips in the current colors, so that would be a good opportunity if that one's still around. And then on eBay, you can find various Allegiant planes. I would love to see a Las Vegas Raiders and uh, Golden Knights Las Vegas uh, aircraft, but those are licensing problems uh, for days, so you got that going. Then Allegiant has quite a few other special deliveries that would be cool to see. Uh, we did get, um, I thought we got one at some point, I'm forgetting what it was if we did. Uh, but we haven't got many Allegiant special liveries. Uh, they're kind of hit or miss too um, when they produced one. So I'm hopeful they'll do some more at some point, but uh, yeah, it's certainly gonna be interesting to see when and how they do that, uh, if that does happen. So that will certainly be of note as well. So yeah, this is a really cool model though, and I would highly recommend it if you are looking for an Allegiant airplane and you find this one. Uh, it does come up sometimes on eBay and Waffle Collectibles and other places. So if you are looking for this one, you definitely can find it. It's not impossible, it just takes some effort. As long as you demonstrate effort, you'll be pretty good in life. No exception here for the Allegiant 320. So, but yeah, really cool to have the Allegiant, um, I guess you'd call it a meme, but G4 welcome Allegiant. Yes, the saying, uh, like travel is our deal. Uh, very cool to um, get to establish that uh, saying, and it's always nice to see Allegiant here. Uh, they've been a fun part of Tulsa over the last 10 years, operating to Orlando, Destin, um, Tampa, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, and also previously to cities like Baltimore, New Orleans. Um, they were gonna start San Diego, that didn't happen. Nashville, um, Sarasota, Phoenix Mesa. I wish I didn't have to list all these, but they've operated quite a few cities that they've unfortunately terminated, which is unfortunate. But I'm hopeful that they find some new standards, uh, new, staple of, uh, new staple cities going forward. The five that they have right now are really solid and I'm hopeful that they'll try San Diego again. Nashville now would do really great, I think. So that would be another good opportunity along with other services like Fort Lauderdale or even maybe a Savannah or um, Myrtle Beach would be really great. Um, they did have Austin, that was another one. They didn't really give that one a chance to be quite honest, which was unfortunate. American Southwest came in and kind of stole their thunder on that one. I also think that they could fly to cities like um, Mesa, Phoenix Mesa deserved a better opportunity than what they gave it. Um, so that would have been nice. American's gonna take the edge of the capacity this winter on that. So kind of be allegiant to the punch on that one. So uh, New Orleans was a great route. Unfortunate that they um, didn't weren't able to stick with that. It was mainly more of a logistical issues in uh, for Allegiant in New Orleans than the route itself. So that was unfortunate. Baltimore was another really great one. I'm definitely sad that they had to terminate that. So they've definitely had their first year of really good routes. Just uh, unfortunately, some of them have got to get terminated, but the staples that need to be there, LA, Vegas, Orlando, Tampa, Destin are all there. Uh, Oklahoma City's not fared too well with the Legion. They only have seasonal service to Destin and Orlando, which is hilarious that Orlando is a seasonal, but what can I say? At least they're doing really good with Destin. They'll fly that five times a week in the summer. And then they have Las Vegas twice a week year round. So, um, but yeah, uh, it's certainly going good. Fayetteville's doing really good with the Legion too, which is nice. Uh, that's X and A. They have all the services that I mentioned for Tulsa, plus Fort Lauderdale, um, um, Nashville, which they were able to maintain because it didn't start during the pandemic. Nashville, um, Fort Lauderdale, Phoenix Mesa, and they might have one, they might have 
uh, Punta Gorda, I think they might. Um, I can't remember for sure. I know they have Tampa, but I can't remember if they have Punta Gorda or not, but they have a really good healthy route network there. But Southwest doesn't even fly to a Fayetteville, so that kind of speaks for itself on why they have so much Allegiant and then Breeze, pretty strong operation there. Along with um, Merritt, there's some additional cities they have that we don't, like Minneapolis, they were able to hold on to. Um, they have multiple flights a day to New York, so that's super cool. And uh, yeah, they have a bunch of really good operations there. So American flies to Miami daily, another cool one. But that's uh, not has nothing to do with the Legion. Well, I mean, kind of does for their operations. But cool to see what they've been doing, and it's certainly very nice to say the least. So with all that being said, everybody, that'll do for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. My name is Judge Jeff Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take it easy, everybody. Stay safe. Trust the process. Do you love and love what you do? My name is Judge Jeff Aviation. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon as Judge Jeff Aviation is signing off.